Hey everybody, this is Erica Sabo, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing a game that kind of fell off the radar for me, a game I didn't even know existed or was released, and that game is Freedom Wars. This is a game that I was reluctant to play the more I started reading about it because it covered a formula I was very familiar with, and that's part of the hunting genre, which you might be familiar with in terms of games like Monster Hunter or God Eater, for instance. Now, this game, while I was apprehensive at first, I was really surprised. Really, really surprised by the experience and what it had to offer. I'm really happy you guys had mentioned it. I'm really happy you mentioned that I should try it out because I think you, all of you know that I am a sucker for RPG elements in my games. Even if it covers a different genre, I don't care. As long as I have a moment to strategize, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. So I want to thank ANC Games for sponsoring this video and offering me a copy of this game. A really awesome place that I am so, so excited to be working at and so happy to be working at. I love it there. So if you are in Toronto, please check it out. Uh, but yeah, it was really wicked of them to let me, uh, let me, uh, play this game and see what it was all about. So yeah, I guess let's get started. At first sight you might be thinking, so is this a Monster Hunter or God Eater clone? Not exactly, no. Freedom Wars sets itself apart just enough that it creates a whole new experience. It's one of those games where it may cover a very familiar formula, however it provides us and it immerses us in this world that's so distinct and so compelling to be in. Freedom Wars World runs on a society with two classes, the citizens and the sinners. You play as a sinner and as such are in prison for god knows what and are tasked to complete missions in order to work off your outrageous million year prison sentence. As you slowly shave off those years in prison, you also gain entitlements, allowing you to leave your cell, speak to the opposite sex, and even lie down without adding another 20 years. Seriously, those dirty bastards trick you into breaking that ridiculous rule. Sensing a Big Brother vibe here? Yeah. Yeah, you, you are. And honestly, I love it. I love dystopian settings, and this is one that really makes you feel like you're living in one, belittling you to a pulp. That sense of control the game has to offer you creates a sense of irony, considering technically, video games do put you in scenarios where you follow the rules in order to succeed. Is Freedom Wars breaking the fourth wall? Whether or not that was the developer's intent, I genuinely feel like the sole purpose of this game is to make you question that sense of control. Frankly, the use of entitlements is probably one of the most intriguing parts of Freedom Wars. I love how the game is designed to give you more jail time, uh, when you feel like you've actually achieved something. This, in turn, gives you that sense of false reassurance. However, do keep in mind that sometimes you need to take those chances, you need to break those rules in order to whittle down more of your years in the long term. Breaking the rules isn't necessarily a bad thing, there are always ways around it. Taking heed in your actions or gauging what's worth it to you is a very important part of Freedom Wars and really adds to the game. Now that in combination with the action-packed gameplay, whether you're playing uh, on your own and that said AI is actually surprisingly intuitive, or you're playing four-player co-op, it adds this fresh new energy to a familiar genre. And man is combat fun! Freedom Wars third-person hack-and-slash battles are chaotic and rewarding, pitting you against enemy grunts and abductors, gigantic cybernetic beasts that take a hell of a lot of time to take down. Although that's part of what makes missions so incredible and require a lot of teamwork. There's something so satisfying in watching the abductors crumble before your eyes, heaps of scrap metal flying off as you whittle them down. That scrap metal, along with parts that you buy or you find while exploring, can then be used to upgrade your weapons, augmentations, and more. It's something that's really familiar in this genre, but I found it to be very confusing and very convoluted at first because of its menu system, and this is coming from someone who plays a lot of very menu-heavy RPGs. Of course, however, in time, it's something that you do get used to, so it's not exactly a fault, per se. The same can be said about combat controls as well, which can be awkward and fussy, particularly the lock-on system, but it does become easier to handle with practice. Part of the experience is figuring out the controls, but I can also see how it might deter those maybe new to the hunting genre. Freedom Wars is a hell of a lot of fun. While I had my heyday with Monster Hunter, there is something about this game in particular that really stood out to me, and it had to probably be the dark dystopian themes it had to offer. I found it very refreshing, I found it very ambitious, and it really immerses you in that particular world. 
I, uh, I, I think that for me, and I know this is different for everybody, but atmosphere is a pivotal part of creating a successful game, and I truly do feel that Freedom Wars has accomplished that, despite the fact that there are some kinks in gameplay. If you are looking for something different from the typical formula in this genre, consider this a breath of fresh air. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Freedom Wars. I want to thank ANC Games once again for sponsoring this video. I uh, am really, really curious to hear what you think of this game if you have tried it out. Once again, another great Vita game to add to the collection. I swear this list is growing and growing and growing. I'm becoming that much closer to creating a top 5 or a top 10 Vita games. You know, I'm going to wait a bit longer, of course, because I want that much more variety. I want to see what else there's in store, but this is another really great installment in the collection. I highly recommend you check it out at least once and give it a few hours. Give it a few hours, get used to those controls. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I, uh, I'm going to put a lot more time into this game. A lot more time into this game and I'm really really excited to do so so I really hope you enjoyed this review I hope it gave you some food for thought please leave your comments below if you have anything you'd like to say about the game in particular and we'll see you all later okay all right peace